All right, guys, so a little story time. Yesterday, we were going to a uh, beach at night to see, well, we were trying to see the bioluminescent waves, and we didn't get to see it. But uh, when we were driving, um, just down the street at my neighbor's house, we see, uh, we see this bike rack sitting on the curb. Just, it was just down the street over there. And, you know, I thought, you know, okay, interesting. So this morning, I go and knock on the door. I wear my mask and all that, of course. And um, I ask her, and it's this, like, old Asian lady that comes out. I'm like... Um, I was I was wondering, can I have the the rack? She's like, yeah, yeah, you could take it. And then um, I'm like, y you know, if there's anything wrong with it, she's like, uh, no, no, I don't know, nothing wrong. And just, and she she's like, she just doesn't bike, so she just tosses it out. And I'm like, okay, now I have a free Thule, uh, Thule bike rack. And uh, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if it works right now. I'm gonna see if I can install it onto the Rav4. I'm gonna do a little research, and uh, we'll see. If I did, then uh, it's cool. All right, let me get back to you guys. Okay, so I'm kind of learning a little bit more and more about this thing. So these hook onto uh, these things right here. They have they're adjustable. So when you push it, I think when you pull it, you can uh, pull it out and all that stuff. Let me. It's two-handed. But uh, anyways, when you pull this, this pulls out, and you can also retract it by doing this. And so this one works this way as I think the opposite way. Let me see. Yeah, you see how it adjusts. So you just pull this lever, and then uh, this one right, these right here, these adjust uh, the height of this thing right here. So let me get this, and you can adjust uh, the height on this depending on your car. Let me lock that back down, and then um, yeah, this thing works the same for uh, this bottom part here. Then it's just it's got all these cool just adjustment parts so you can adjust the length and uh, tie downs. This is this is cool. This this actually works. It's not it's not broken. She uh it came with the keys too. They uh that's a piece of tape. They taped it in like right there. So the, the, this thing locks for sure. So I think I think this is I think I scored a solid piece of uh piece of equipment here. All right. Okay, so I did a little research on this thing. Turns out it's the Thule um, Raceway Pro 2. Around, it's either 2 or 1. I never saw a 1, but I did see a 2 on the website. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. So, and, but the, uh, the videos I'm looking at, it, it's supposed to fit a sedan, so a small car. But I think it'll fit this too. So let's give it a try right now. Let's see. meant earlier so when you pull this out these pull out when you pull this out and it's just gonna pull out ah, almost do we just find the issue that they had all right that's an issue okay let's see the other side. This seems to pull out fine. I think it's just a little gunked up. There we go. Ah, yeah, there's a little water in there. So let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay. A little gunked up inside is all. They probably haven't used this in years. And I think this level's good for the car.
thing is, uh, it's a little hot out, but uh, this thing is solid. Um, let's see. So we can uh, just this just moves around, just so you can uh, put different bikes. Okay. Let me go get my bikes and uh, see how they work. Okay, so check it out. We have one bike here, and then we have our other mountain bike right there. So uh, let's see if I can get these on. Let me see. These are the side right now. So we have these straps we have to undo. How do you undo these? Now this is what we got to figure out. There we go. I think it's the, uh, I think inside this one, the, the nut is loose. So maybe I can take that off and tighten it later. I'll see what I can do. But otherwise, I mean, it's not, it's not life or death. It'll still hold the bike in. It's just not super tight. And if you, if you like it that way, then I guess that's, that's an issue. But I think it'll hold otherwise because it just kind of holds it in place. And then once you lock it, it should uh, it should do the trick. Okay. And that is secure. Okay. This is solid, honestly. This is this is solid and it was free. Oh my god. Did you look at that? Alright, um, Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah, never, uh, all I can say is never, never look at the trash in someone's curb as just trash, I guess. Yeah, um, thanks for tuning along. Uh, we're going to take this for a test drive around, uh, see, if it, see how it is. And actually, uh, let, me, let, me keep you, let me keep you guys updated. All right, so check it out, guys. We have the bike rack right there in the back. We're gonna take our little test drive right now. We're just in the neighborhood. Just out. Uh, there's a few speed bumps. So we're gonna see how it how it fares. It's good. Yeah. And um, yeah, this. I'm hoping this thing lasts. This is a. Uh, this thing is uh, it's solid because uh, you know, I've I've been meaning to get one lately. And these things are upwards of three hundred dollars, especially for a Thule. So um, this is this is some sort of luck but uh yeah i'm just checking it on the back right here we're just in a little cul-de-sac and um yeah so far it's holding up and yeah you just see it in the back right there so yeah overall it works all right but uh 
So yeah, this thing is this thing is pretty solid. It, it really holds. Take it through the neighborhood, and uh, so far, no big issues. The only thing is, uh, if you go over a big bump, I kind of felt it go like, boom. But uh, you know, that's that was, that was a pretty big, uh, pretty big um, hump over there. So, uh, but overall, I think if you're just driving on the highway or uh, something like that, going to uh, Sierra Nevadas, and because uh, that's a pretty long, smooth trip, this thing's gonna hold. This thing's gonna hold, so I'm fairly excited. All right, um, and just I'll a little update. I actually figured out there's nothing wrong with it, actually. That was actually the locking mechanism. So, right now, as you see, if you can see the bolt inside, works perfectly. It tightens down everything. You see, it's loosening up. And, uh, but once you put the key in and you unlock it, and I guess you lock it, so this way they can't, it disables the nut so you can't unlock it. So, so you can you know unscrew it. So that's that's neat actually. And then once you do this again, it works perfectly again. All right, so nothing wrong. This thing's 100%. Yeah, cool. I was in check it. So a final update. We actually took it out today. Uh, me and my buddies. Just uh, yeah, I brought the bikes and then gave it to them. We all kind of rode a good distance because you know social distancing and all that. And uh, you can still see one bike up there. And uh, yeah, uh, this thing fared really well. I just had a backup uh, ratchet strap just in case it failed, but honestly, this thing fared really well. We we went on the highway and uh, went over some uh, speed bumps. This thing this thing held up well. So I gotta say, I got a four hundred dollar bike rack for free, and uh, so um, yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys next time on Alex makes it. See you guys.